Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video I'm joined by Sarah Godin and together we go through creating org units in DHIS2. Okay, so I'm here with Sarah Godin again. Hi Sarah. Hey Nicholas, how are you? Good, yourself? Pretty good. Ready nice. to make some org units. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is what we're going to do today. And at the end of the video, we'll also just show how we make org unit groups as a little bonus. So mm -hmm. um, this is all going to be in the system. So why don't we just pop over into the system and uh, do that? Because the instructions are all going to be talking about what we'll show right now. Sounds good. So for students using our space, you're going to be creating an account. But uh, for today's purposes, I'll just use the account that I have set up. Mm -hmm. To create an account, you need to include your email, your name, a uh, phone number. Uh, phone number is less important, but your name uh -huh. and your email are key. And then you'll be able to get access right away. So we're going to navigate to the org unit app. Mm -hmm. And here we already have some set up, but if this were a fresh instance, you'd have nothing here and you'd want to add new. So what I'm going to do specifically is I'm going to add a region under uh, none of it which is an Arctic territory in Canada. So I'm going to add new. We're going to call this uh, Baffin region. Mm -hmm. That's around the Baffin Bay and Baffin Island. So you'll notice things that are required have a star. So we can fill that out. Um, oh, normally it uh, pastes the short name in right away, which it did. So that's nice. Uh, code, you could change this later if your agency um, has facility codes. Mm -hmm. um, opening date, it's automatically just going to put the date that you've set it up. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Um, these, again, are optional, optional. And if you have a contact person for this area, um, you might not. In this case, we don't. So we can just add it as is. And then right away, we'll notice a plus sign has appeared. So we've gotten this new level, which is great. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy to add things manually. We like to use a configuration sheet because you can add a lot more and make changes quickly. Mm -hmm. Great. And all you have to do is you just make sure that the, the org unit that you want is highlighted there on the left side. And when mm -hmm. you click Add New, whatever you create will go under whatever's highlighted, just Great. like we saw. Yeah. And when it comes to the config sheet, um, as we showed in a previous video, on any region, you can show details to show the um, user ID. It kind of sits at the bottom here on my screen. Mm -hmm. um, if you need that for the config file. So back to this assignment, we also wanted to look at groups. And I wanted to um, ask Nicholas, do we have a video on levels? Because that's something important to cover as well. Uh, we don't have a video on levels. No, we kind okay. of just, we, we talk about it implicitly in the structuring of group sets. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd like to show that quickly. So yeah. for provinces, I'm going to create a new group. And what I want is just for the provinces under Canada to appear. So here's where you manually uh, click. So what I'm going to do is go, um, I don't think we've set up groups or anything yet. So let's just manually find them. So our provinces as a Canadian, anything that is not a territory. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will save. There we go. And now we've got a nice uh, province group. We could similarly do one for the territories. Mm -hmm. So this comes uh, into effect when you're pulling reports. You can pull a uh, report specifically on you know, provinces or whatever you set up here. Mm -hmm. Or you can assign so, so uh, data sets to, 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 um, to groups as well. Right. So when you make your forms, um, so we're skipping ahead just a little bit, but that's where you'll also assign to a group or an org level. Yeah. Um, the levels are pretty interesting, too. You can report on the levels. So in the previous exercise, what we did is we'd um, organization, country, province. So how you determine um, what goes in these levels is also interesting. Let me just... Okay, so we can add translations here, which we'll cover in a later unit. Um, looks like it's already set up, so I don't think this would be a very good example, Nicholas, but maybe we could add a little bit more on how to uh, set up a level in a future video. Yeah, we can uh, bring that in. And uh, I think when you create a new level with your org units, it'll automatically create a new level here. And then what mm -hmm. you have to do is you have to rename it is the big thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, there's another nice way to create groups once you have your level set up. Um, as you saw here, you can choose a certain region. Um, and if you press select that level, what it's going to do is it's going to highlight 
highlight all the regions. So this has been done automatically, but you can customize the names that you, you press here, or you can make a custom group that is say I'm starting all to of lose the regions you, Sarah. plus, you know, a few towns. Oh, sorry about that, Nicholas. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's just getting a bit uh, rough. But oh, okay. keep going. Okay, yeah, just explaining that if you wanted to make a custom group that was, say, all of the regions plus, you know, this province and this province for a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. You can create your own custom groups here. So using this little select and unselect tool is pretty helpful. It definitely helps speed up going through and, and, and clicking each one one at a time. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So now that we're at this stage, you can take some time to get familiar with where the org units are, where to set up groups, and then where to set up levels. And there's also um, a place place here where if you need to move and make changes, you can move things from a different parent. So I, I lost you a little bit there. But... So this is a way in a, a safe way rather than doing it through importing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm losing you because I think you're, you're clicking around so fast that the bandwidth is getting affected. Um, oh, okay. But what you're saying here, I see the hierarchy operations now, and you're saying that you can, you can select an org unit on the left side, and then mm -hmm you can choose to do something with it by moving it to a new uh, under a new parent and then and then moving it so this is a great way to if you change your mind or if you make a mistake you can easily fix it in uh, this hierarchy options area but i think i think we're good sarah unless you want to cover anything else that's that's a little bit beyond even what this assignment was which is good because it kind of wraps us up in the org unit area um is there anything else you'd want to add before we wrap up Nope, this has been great. Thanks, Nicholas. Great. Thank you so much. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical Outcomes.